Hi, I'm Victor and uh, I'm going to show you my favorite approach in creating floors on topography in Revit. Once again using Dynamo, but uh, this time uh, the approach is kind of different because uh, I'm going to use subregions. I think uh, this is my favorite approach because uh, many times uh, I have used the uh, topography in Revit and just uh, drawn some uh, roads or parking lots with uh, subregion. So let's create our parking lot right here. Like this subregion. Okay. And I'm going to create also just a simple road like this I'm gonna fill it uh, the edges of this parking lot just to show it can be just like this no, no problem at all and make it one continuous closed polyline so here it is our subregion you can change the material if you want just to see it on the screen like this so next uh, i'm going to open dynamo and here I can select the subregion like this and next I'm going to hit run so it's going to think for a while And it's almost there. Okay, it's done. Here it is. The floor I have created with Dynamo for Revit. It fits perfectly the topography. Even when it's 3D curved. And this is it. Uh, I'm going to, to show you how it's done in Dynamo. Here it is. We select the subregion. We take its geometry. We take the mesh's vertices because the subregion as part of uh, the topography is a mesh and we take its perimeter we use the perimeter to uh, create uh, the boundary for the floor and then we use the vertices to apply the points uh, to the floor this is it I'm gonna create uh, another video showing how to use uh, this approach uh, for multiple subregions. So, thanks for your attention. Goodbye.